hello everyone thank you for tuning in today's recipe i'll be showing you how i make this delicious stewed beef i am rosie and you are welcome to my kitchen here i have the beef which i'll be using and i'm going to be cutting this beef into bite sizes and i have the meat nicely cut and clean already for seasoning i will be using some crushed pepper salt bouillon thyme curry powder and you can use any seasoning of your choice tomorrow's some bell peppers habanero peppers garlic ginger onions and i have them nicely cut and clean i'm going to be roughly blending it and i'll be right back so this is that nicely blended and i'll put that aside in the pot i have the meat and i will season with some diced onions and i will crush in the garlic so you can also blend the onions and garlic together and then you add it as well I will add in the crushed pepper, curry powder, thyme, salt, and bouillon. Bouillon is a type of mangi. All mangi are called bouillon, but they each have their brand name. The one I'm using is a paste. I will mix everything together until everything is nicely combined. And I'm going to be steam cooking this meat. I will not be adding any water to it. So after steam cooking the meat for about 10 minutes, I'll come and check. I'll give it a stir. So when you're steam cooking meat, you need to do it on a low heat. If not, it will get burnt because you didn't add water. And meat contains lots of water. It's going to produce its own by itself. So I'll cover and leave it to cook. And after some time and the meat produce all of this liquid by itself, I will stir and check if the meat is ready. So at this point, it's ready and I'll take it off the stove. And I'll be separating the meat from the stock and this will prevent the oil from splashing while frying it. So I will leave it to dry out a little bit before I start frying. So next in the pot, I will add in some oil. I'm using avocado oil. You can use any oil of your choice for this recipe. And once the oil is Hot, I will add in some diced onions and I will stir. I'll be frying the onions for about a minute or two. Next, I will add the blended pepper mix. And I will stir. I'll cover and leave it to fry until the pepper reduces and the oil starts to float on top. So next in the skillet, I will add in some oil for frying the beef. And I will allow the oil to heat up. So while that is heating up, I have some rosemary in my guiding. I'm going to be cutting some just to infuse some nice aroma in the oil. You can drop in onions there, you can drop in garlic there, but I have rosemary, I use it for almost everything. And that's how much I'm taking. So here the oil is nicely hot and I have secured the rosemary with a rope so it's not all over the place and I'll drop it in the hot oil and then add in the beef and then fry the beef until it's nicely fried. So for me, I don't like the beef to be too dry. 
and I am frying on medium heat. So once the beef are nicely fried, take them out of the hot oil. And I will clean the oil with a strainer just to take out all the pepper and some of the rosemary to keep the oil clean before adding the next badge. So once that is done, I will add the next badge and I'm going to be repeating this process until all the beef is nicely fried. And at this point, you can take out the rosemary and if you're using onions, you can also take it out. The oil has already been infused with the beautiful aroma already. So here is the sauce. The sauce is nicely, nicely fried. So now I will season with some curry powder thyme salt and some of the crushed pepper as well and i will add in the bouillon you can add any brand you're using at this point and then give that a gentle stir and i'll cover and leave it to fry maybe for another 10 minutes The stew is be frying now for some time. I will give that a nice stir. And at this point, you can taste and adjust for seasoning if needed. And this stew is a lot, so I'm going to be taking out some of the stew before adding the fried beef. I will save the rest for later use. And once that is done, I will add in the fried beef. And stir. I will cover and leave it on the stove for about five minutes so that the stew can enter the beef very well. And this is about five minutes later. I'll be finishing it up with some diced green bell peppers and onions and i'll give it a nice stir and at this point this peppered beef is ready it tasted so delicious and it smells amazing you can serve it in any occasion or any gathering thank you all so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you are not already remain blessed i will see you in my next video